Hey guys, what's going on? It's Crystal Collects and I'm back with another Pokemon Booster Box opening in this video featuring the Taiwanese version of Jet Black Poltergeist, also known as Tihei Yohun. So just like the Taiwanese version of Silverlands, this set came out on May 7, 2021 within Taiwan and Hong Kong. And also like the Japanese card list, it has a total of 95 cards, including the secret rares. And since Taiwanese Pokemon cards are printed in Japan, they will share the exact same card qualities as the Japanese cards. Now on to my chase cards. I'm still after any of the alternate artworks in the set, especially the VMAX Calyrex Ghost Rider, and also any of the trainer cards, especially Caitlyn or Peonia. I love the artworks of those cards. And last but not least, the shiny Electrode Gold card. I know we all remember that from Hidden Fates, but I like it on a gold card form since I feel like the blue and the gold match really well. So let's see what we get. Each booster box of Taiwanese Jet Black Poltergeist should guarantee at least one secret rare. So before we get started, please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe for more multi-language Pokemon, Beyblade, and Mazaka Party content. Let's get started. All right, so in front of us, we have the Taiwanese version of Jet Black Poltergeist guys in booster box form. I'm gonna take off the plastic before I take a look at the specs so you guys can see everything clearly. Alrighty, so just like Silverlands, it's also marked with an FS6KF and as you can see also here the Taiwanese version features the fact that there's gonna be rapid strike uh, cards in the set and here's some specs on the side. We have Gengar so Cam is very excited about that and then we have lovely cast form in the set too. I think there's also cast form in Silverlands but different versions. I think the sun one and the ice one is in Silverlands, and then the water and the normal one is in this one. And I love the pack art of this. It looks so nice with the metallicness as well, and it matches my scissors, especially Calyrex's big head. <laughs> so let's get started. We have 30 packs. Let's see what the secret rare is. And as you can see too, lovely Pokemon logo in Mandarin Chinese. So trick is one to the front. Again, it's gonna be the same quality as Japanese cards. You have the lovely silver borders. We have Fletchling. We have pal size, no, Palpitoad. Seismitoad's the big one. There you go. There's Seismitoad. Palpitoad and Seismitoad in the same pack. Just missing Tim Pole from that evolution line. Which pack do, art do you like better? I have to say I really like the Jet Black Poltergeist one better because I like the purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors, but also blue. Ah, but I have to pick this one because I feel like it stands out more. We have Kecleon. I like that art artwork of Kecleon. And our first VMAX in Mandarin Chinese, we have Metagross with the Rapid Strike logo. Number 50 out of 70. So again, the same cardless as the Japanese version, just printed in the Mandarin Chinese language. Really just the language difference aside from the uh, back printing, which I'll, you probably have already seen. It's the same as the English cards. So anything not in Japanese will share these backings. Same thing with Thai cards, Indonesian cards, and Korean cards as well. Let's keep going though. And as well as the European and South American cards. It says, oh, it's a V card, it's Zero Aura. Very, very nice. And Mandarin Chinese as well. Jay's actually looking for the full art form of Zero Aura. The regular V, and actually not the alternate artwork. That's his favorite from this set. So that's his personal chase card. Yep. And as per usual, he's gonna be team left today. I don't think he'll ever be team right, but that's okay. Oh, we have Caitlyn, very nice. We have Grookey, Sneasel. Lots of lovely trainers in this set, by the way. All right, we have the wacky at the end. All the starters are just chilling in the snow. Oh, I didn't even mean <laughs> that little pun either. Chilling, chilling rain. One to the front. All right, we have Ampharos. Really like that artwork of Ampharos by Mizutani. Very nice. So Sableye, what I can really say, oh my gosh, this Blitzel just chilling on the iceberg. I can definitely say the artwork's definitely gone up over time with these sets. We have Grappelot splintering a tree. Looks fierce as ever, even in the game. It's terrifying, as I always say. I feel like it always chases after me, but I'm just trying to walk around it. We have Gold Duck. Oh yeah, there's a cute Psyduck in the set as well. There's our cast form, our rain, rainy dance cast form. And there's Agatha from the Elite Four. I love the throwback to the Elite Four trainer. And it makes sense because she is a ghost trainer. So it makes total sense for the theme of Jet Black Poltergeist. All right, one to the front. And I like how there's a lot of Yukimori art in this set too. Lots of claymation Pokemon like that one. Cobblepuss. There's our cute Psyduck hanging out at the beach. We have Flaffy. Oh, wow. All right, our first secret rare team right today. Oh man, imagine if this was the alternate artwork. That's the thing that's getting me right now. Ooh, very that's nice. Still pink, That's still a nice card, though. That's Shadow, still nice. Shadow Rider Calyrex, my first rainbow. Finally, can't argue. That is one sexy <laughs> card. That is. <laughs> That's actually quite nice. The texturing on the background is actually very interesting too. Number eighty-five is... out of seventy. Oh, we were so close to the alternate art, but I won't complain. This is also that's Mandarin Chinese. Kind of pain, you know. Number eighty-five out of seventy. Okay, it's better than a regular full that's art. Kind of sexy card. Because it's just been full art after full art. So. That's actually a sexy. 
I can tell Joe's a fan of that one. I like you. <laughs> and my team won today, team right, by the way. Wow, that was a surprise because I was like, I thought I just pulled a VMAX. There's another one on this side that usually doesn't happen, I guess, unless it's a secret rare, right? We have Kecleon, Seedot with the Fireflies, Timpole, and Shift Tree. Lots of third gen Pokemon coming back. I like it. But yeah, there we go. Our first, or our, maybe our only secret rare. There's also a small chance of pulling two, but for Taiwanese boxes, I usually just see one. Um, there, it can happen just because also these are printed in Japan. Sometimes Japanese booster boxes can give you two secret rares, usually one on each side. So there's still a chance we can pull another one. We have Cresselia Holographic, but I will not expect it because I like having fun with my openings and not being disappointed. All right, let's keep going here. But again, guys, remember the F always marks the fact that it's in Taiwan, Mandarin Chinese or from Taiwan slash Hong Kong. We have Haunter and Ghastly. Will we get a Gengar Holographic in this pack? Imagine getting all three. Oh, instead we got Celebi. I will not argue with that. By Igawa. Same artist for the Blaziken VMAX from Matchless Fight. A very lovely card, especially in Mandarin Chinese. Hopefully we get the VMAX to that. If not, I'm very happy with the Shadow Rider Calyrex. Can't say there's a card I dislike from this set. It's, they're, they're all so nice, especially the VMAX cards. One to the front. Almost done with the first pile. We got to the secret rare so quickly. It's usually at the very beginning or at the very end of my opening. That's so interesting. We have the Spooky Graveyard. It's like the equivalent to Path of the Peak from Silverlands, the one where it's like the snowy path to the mountain top. And path to the peak. <laughs> All right, we have the Aurora Energy, I believe. There's our normal cast form, in knit form, Nesgeef, Crabrawler, and Rillaboom. So you have Rillaboom in this set, and then you have Cinder Ace in the other set. And Inteleon was just randomly put in Matchless Fighters along with Sobble, but I love the artwork to those. They're all very amusing. All right, one to the front. I think there's two more packs after this one on this pile. All right, we have Coughing. Clavopus in claymation form and Galarian Weezing. I think there's both Weezings in this set if I'm not mistaken. Alrighty, a beautiful pack card. I actually like how the Pokemon logo is placed in the center because it does contrast well with the purple. Yellow and purple are pretty good pairing in my opinion. We have Zepstrika, we have Amolga, super cute. Sneasel, Garuki, oh wow, two VMAXs. The right side is really loaded today in Mandarin Chinese. I have to say this is one of my favorite VMAXs of all time. Number four, out of 70, so one of the earlier cards in the set. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Hit that like button for Celebi, please. Oh my gosh. So nice. And I love the shading on that too. By Suji. That's the artist. Planeta Suji. All right, last pack of the first pile, then we're on to team left. Wow, so they really reverse sides today. <laughs> right side is usually empty. The Crabominable, Love Disc, and Lucky Energy. Very nice artwork to that energy, actually. Now on to the left side. Sorry, Jay. I might win today. It's all good. Unless we pull <laughs> another secret rare on the left side. It's been a while since that happened, though. I never really expect it. All right. Did happen one time, though, with a Chinese set. Dreams come true. That really made my dreams come true from that set, if you haven't checked out that video already. Oh, go let and go lurk in the same pack. I like it when that happens. Still have yet to see a ghastly Haunter Gengar um, lineup, though, in one pack. That would be super cool, in my opinion. One to the front. We have Gold Dog. Even I just, if I just pull a Gengar, that'll go straight to Jay's collection of Gengars. Thank you. He loves collecting them in different languages. We have Cobalion, also from Crown Tundra, from the one of the islands. But yes, absolutely, Jay. I love helping build your Gengar collection. Especially this, this is a ghost set. It only makes sense to have Gengar in it. We do have a Gigantamax Gengar coming soon, though, in a high-class deck. Yeah. We have Grookey, Little Fairy, and a Aurora Energy once again. Very nice energy cards in the set have to say but my goodness that gold electrode i really want to go after that one i know it may not be the most hype card but i just have a lot of you know personal memories with shiny electrode after catching a shiny voltorb in sapphire version i just always thought how it was so cool that um i caught a blue voltorb in sapphire version <laughs> rather than a red voltorb it's so funny because it's like ruby and sapphire red and blue i just thought it was very symbolic at the time and also coming across shiny pokemon in the game is not easy it's like one out of like 2,000 chance. Like this, this was also back in the day. I'm sure the, the chances are much different nowadays. We have a Weavile, Holographic, like lots of nice hollows. I feel like the left side's gonna be a little less on the poles because the right side was so chock full. They usually like to compensate for each other. So let's see what else we can get. We already got the secret rare though, but I think we're due for one more regular VMAX. So I'm still gonna be looking out for that. Oh, wait, actually, no, I missed, I'm mistaken. We already have our both VMAXs. Again, the right side was surprisingly packed with cards. I'm guessing this side is going to be full of e-cards, so let's just keep let's just keep looking. One to the front, and I, I think I do see a v-card on this side. 
And inside this pack, we have School of It. And we have Blissey. Very nice artwork on this, especially there's a lot of like rainbowish tones on this. And there's a really cute alternate art for Blissey as well. This is number 52 out of 70. So part of the main set. Still just one secret we're pulled so far. But then again, you know, you, you don't really come across rainbow rares every day. And I'm sure that's what makes the alternate artwork for Calyrex VMAX Hyper also very, very hard to find. It looks so nice though with the Starry Night based on a webcomic of, of the two Pokemon, Calyrex and also Spectrier. Of course, in their, gigant in their Dynamax forms, not really Gigantamax forms because they're still the same form, just bigger. All right, there's our regular Weezing. Really like the artwork to that. We have Mareep, Psyduck, Ghastly, and oh, wait, three VMAXs. Wow, we got all of them <laughs> literally in one box. Number 37 out of 70. Definitely a worthwhile box to open then. We have all the three uh, VMAXs in Mandarin Chinese now. Hit the like button for me. All right, I'm actually looking forward to see the final review now. We might maybe get an eight pull box because that's a lot of pulls. I rarely ever see all three VMAXs in one Taiwanese or even Japanese box. It had happened for Matchless Fighters before. We have Ghastly, we have Fletch Fletchling. For Brawler and Tapu Fini. The Tapus are still around. And as of now, we have five packs left. So let's see what we also can. Very, again, very surprised we got that last VMAX. Very rare to see that. On to the front. Okay, we have a spooky graveyard. Uh, the evolved form of Cutie Fly. We have Ladybug, Timpole, and Talonflame. Very nice artwork of Talonflame here. This time in colorless type, not fire type, as it usually was before. <laughs> Haven't seen big, like, a talent, big Talonflame card, like, Talon Flame V since Astonishing Volt Tackle. All right, we have Peonia. I love the background to that. We have Sableye. I think it's from the Dynamax Adventures since it's in that little pit or that cave with all the clouds. Three more packs left. Let's see. I'm not expecting anything at this point. I, again, I was just so surprised we had three VMAXs and we also had our Secret Rare pop up early on. So let's see what else we can get. We got Coughing, we got Blitzel, C Dot, and Greedent Holographic. Lots of love towards Greedent now. Two more packs left. Ooh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see how many pulls we get in this box. But also very happy to get, again, all the VMAXs because I love all the artwork. It's hard to choose favorites in this set because everything is amazing. There's a cutie fly. Super adorable. Mareep and gloves. All right, so that pack didn't have anything. So maybe this pack will have something. Last pack magic. Let's see. Snip, snip, snip. And last five cards. Let's go. Let's see what else we can get. All right, we have a Fog Crystal. There's a lovely gold card to that. We have Cast Form, Ghastly, No Hunter, uh, Flaffy. Oh, and Metagross. Okay, so there is last, some last pack magic. Definitely awesome. Metagross Fiend, number 49 out of 70. So part of the main set. All right, we are back with you all. Alrighty, so time for our final review. I have a suspicion that we got a little bit more pulls than usual, especially since we got three VMAXs. But let's show the hollows first. Lots of beautiful cards. Not too many repeats for a small set. There's only 70 cards in the main set. And then I believe... 25 secret rares, that's a lot of secret rares. So now onto our V cards. We have Zero Aura V, Jay's favorite, Celebi V, Blissey V, lots of V cards for sure. Metagross V, here are V Maxes, Metagross V Max, super, super nice, especially with the pink. Celebi V Max, and then last but not least, our Calyrex Shadow Rider V Max, but our secret rare. Oh my gosh, let me tell you, I was so surprised. The hyper rare, we were so close <laughs> to the alternate art. I gotta keep going at this point. But yes, in total, that goes to show we have eight pulls. That's a lot. I don't know how, what's happening, but I'm very happy and very blessed to get this many pulls in one booster box. So I hope you enjoyed today's opening. If you did so, please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe for more multi-language Pokemon, Beyblade, and Mazika Party content. Stay safe, everyone. We'll see you in the next video.